I'm Tia and this is my vintage Vixen inspired look. This is a great look for maybe going to a concert or the second or third date with that dream guy. I've already got my foundation on and I've done my brows just to make the base for this look a bit easier. Um, I'm going in straight to the eyes and I'm using a lip pencil, being a little bit unconventional. This is Night Moth. It's like a dark burgundy colour. And I'm just going to use this to do the base of my eyeliner, basically. It's going to look a little bit scary at first, but don't worry, we're going to blend it out. And then taking a very small domed brush. Just start to smudge this out. Whatever shape suits your eyes the best is the shape you should go for. I'm trying to elongate my eyes because they're quite small. So I'm just using a sort of upward motion with my brush to blend the colour up and out rather than keep it centred. You don't have to go crazy with it. And then taking a fluffier blending brush, I'm just gonna go over that again to really make sure I've blended everything out. I'm now going to go in with a Charlotte Tilbury quad. This is the Dolce Vita palette. And taking a small fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with this burgundy color down here. The key again here is to have no harsh lines. So we're really going to spend time blending this out. So again, taking a fluffier brush, just to really move the product around. Then taking a clean brush, I'm going in with one of the lighter two golden tones. I'm going to do the inner corner of my eyes. And then blend that through again with the brush with the darker color on. And then going in with my small domed brush, I'm going to take the gold from the palette and do my lower lash line. So just to accentuate this a little bit more, I'm going in with my Naked 3 palette and I'm going to use the colour Trick. Just underneath and in the tear duct. And I'm also going to use a little bit of this colour just underneath my brow bone. Then going back in with my Night Moth pencil, I'm just going to define the outer corners of my eyes again with the burgundy. And this time, before I blend, I'm going to add some black as well. This is the Blink brow pencil, um, but in black, I would, wouldn't use black in my brows personally, but I love the way this blends out, so I'm gonna use it on my eyes. And again, not being particularly precise, so we're going to smudge it out anyway. Just to really, really make the inner corners of my eyes pop, I'm using the highlighting powder again and a very small domed brush. for a pop. Going back with my black pencil, I'm now going to tight line the top and bottom lashes. And finally for eyeshadow, I'm going to take a shadow in charcoal and a small blending brush. And I'm just going to smoke that out. So to really make this look dramatic, we're going in with lots and lots of layers of mascara. I'm using the MAC 
extended play Giga Black Lash. And I'm gonna really work this into my rooms. Just to lift them up. Just make sure you get those bottom lashes as well. Moving on to contour, I'm using this dark brown by MAC. This is called Blunt. And I'm taking this contour brush and tapping off the excess. And I'm just using the very edge of the brush to carve some cheekbones in. And then without dipping any more product, I'm just gonna take this across my hairline and round my jawline. And then with a clean, fluffy brush, I'm just gonna buff that out so there's no harsh lines. Taking the same pencil that I used originally around my eyes, the burgundy color, I've sharpened it so it's clean, and I'm now going to use it to line my lips. Once I've filled in my lip shape and I've coloured my lips in, I'm going to go over with a lipstick. Now, this is Burberry's Oxblood lipstick. And it's a really good match for this. So last of all, to make sure your lipstick doesn't bleed, if you take the same powder that you powder your face in and a very small brush, and if you tap off the excess, just paint around lightly your lip line. And this makes sure your lipstick doesn't bleed out into your foundation. So the final piece of this look is highlighter. First of all, I'm going to take a small fluffy brush and tap off the excess just to do my cupid's bow. I'm gonna do my brow bone. inner corners of my eyes again and then taking the same brush I did my contour with I'm going to do my cheekbones and the tip of my nose and with that step done this vintage vixen look is complete